I would like to how can study everything. I would like to have the superpower of problem solving. I would like to have the superpower of read people's minds. I think that would be an awesome thing to have, uh, especially as a priest, especially as a priest. I will say flying because, like I said, since I wanted to be a flight attendant, I always wanted to be a pilot. I always wanted to be a pilot. <laughs> superpower. Um, I was never much into superheroes as a kid, but I suppose if I could pick anything, it would be able to stop and reverse time. I didn't know that the Priest of the Sacred Heart had a minor seminary. One thing that I was in a visit, the definition of love, that is uh, affirmation, acceptance, and understanding. The various missions the, the Priest of the Secret has. I've been, I've been to Mississippi twice to work with the Southern Mission, and they have some great, great missions and services going on down there. So I think that would have been, that, that's one of the things that have real surprised me, as well as the missions we have going on in South Dakota, uh, very great as well. Probably be the diversity of the community. It's a very widely diverse community with people in many different uh, countries, from many different countries, and that's a really surprising thing and you only really grasp it until you see it. There's a lot of things that you only learn once you enter formation. Really, no matter what community you join, no matter how much you read about them, there's things you're going to find out once you enter. I joined thinking that we were mainly a missionary congregation because that's what I wanted to do. But learning all the domestic things we do as well, parishes, schools, uh, food pantries, you know, it, it, it kind of expands your idea of what religious life is. For the various friends I have, you know, friends is, is just beauty. It's rich to have friends around you, friends you can depend on, friends that can depend on you. So you always have someone to call, you, you're not lonely. So I would say friendship, I'm just grateful for the friends around me. I mean, obviously the church. <laughs> and really, I'm, I'm a convert, so getting to become a Catholic, getting to experience the sacraments for the first time is something I'm so incredibly, I, I treasure it a lot. Um, getting to go to confession for the first time was a very emotional moment I'll always treasure in my heart, my first Eucharist, my confirmation. Getting to experience that all as an adult, uh, as a convert, really made it something very special to me. I am most grateful for everything that God has caused in the world. It gives me a sense of calm, peace, and to reflect on what He has made. I am most grateful for a loving family, to be a part of a loving community, and to just be a happy and healthy person. For the love of God for myself, because that uh, because of His love that I following His love to become a rel religious person. When I arrive at the gates of heaven, I would like to hear from God, welcome my good and faithful servant. I would like to hear God say, son, you have made it. I would like the Lord to say, welcome, good and faithful servant. I would like to hear, finally, you are here with me. When I die, <laughs> oh man, you know, our Lord is long-suffering and ever-merciful. I, I, I really just hope he says to me, Jacob, I'm, I'm happy you're home. <laughs> Here I am. If you enjoy the video, click like and subscribe to our channel or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Want to become an SCJ? Check out the links in the description below. Thank you. Vivat Koryezu.